Movers, welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy Steen. All right, fun and new format for you today. It's a combination of cardio and strength. We're gonna do five reps of a first exercise and then 10 reps of the second, 15 reps of the third, 20 reps of the fourth. Okay, then we're gonna repeat that for three rounds so you'll get a good progressive overload. It will help us build some lean muscle. So this format's gonna keep the heart rate up, so break as you need. I'll take a few breaks within the workout but give you some options for continuous movement if you don't need the rest. Grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today and we'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. Hey, if you're trying to lose weight currently but you're like, I need to do this in a sustainable way for the long haul and you wanna learn strategies instead of going on a diet, Click the card at the top of the screen. That's the new program, Track It, Lose It, that walks you through all those strategies and how to track your macronutrients, your calorie deficit, and lose weight. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's do it. intervals on my watch since it's that combination of cardio and strength I'm taking it low here doing some nice side to side lunges if you can't get down this low you're just side to side right here okay I went for a big walk this morning already so it feels like legs are pretty warmed up I just want to increase the blood flow a little bit here before we move into this <laughs> what looks like a challenging workout I'll let you know at the end what I thought. All right, so front and back bends. I wrote it this morning. So sometimes when I write workouts, they're actually more challenging because I haven't, I'm not in the middle of it, experiencing it. So I write what I think and then I'm like, oh my lanta, that was <laughs> really hard. Versus if I just make it up on the fly, sometimes I'm like, eh, I don't want to do that one next, it's too hard, or what have you. All right, right here, circles. And this is probably why you work out with me too, because you don't know what's coming and you'll just do what I tell you, which is great, switch directions. That's why we hire trainers. We're not motivated to do it ourselves sometimes. Three, two, one right there. All right, some knee grabs. Alternate sides here, just stretch that up. All right, we're gonna continue that by bringing the hip up and around all the way, up and around the back, okay? Get that ball and socket warmed up. One more each side here. All right, we're gonna put feet shoulder width. We're gonna squat and hinge. Squat and hinge for 12 here. Okay, and reach those hands down. Try to straighten the legs, but knees stay soft. Good, halfway. We've got some poppy knees here. Two more here. Feels good. And last right there, round up. Now let's take it wide to that plie squat, big reach. <clears throat> All right, stay in this position, but let's reach it up and over. Right here, switch. And here. Two more. And into that torso twist right here. Elbows up. That's it, pivot on your foot.
Okay, lay everything out. Here's your first four exercises, your five, 10, 15, and 20. All right, starting with my five squat jumps into 10 push-ups. Here we go. You can modify with the squat if you need. There's five, 10 push-ups here, knees or toes. There's 10 into my 15 squat thrusts. I'm using 12s. There's 10, five more. All right, and 20 duck under punches. Here we go. There's 10 halfway. All right, round two, squat jumps. Ten push-ups. Fifteen squat thrusts. 12s. Five more here. Duck bender. 20 here. Halfway. Round three, squat jumps. Push ups. There's ten. One fifteen. All right, last one here, the duck under. And 20. Go ahead and do jacks if you don't need the break. 
Trying to catch my breath for, breath for a few seconds. Whew. Okay, here's your next circuit. Starting with five front squats, I'm using my 20s. I wanna make it nice and heavy since it's only for five reps. Shoulders back, drop it low. Five. All right, double dumbbell. Sumo squat to curtsy. So take it here. Squat and curtsy, one. Squat, curtsy, two. Wide, 15. There's 10, five more here. All right, finishing off with the 20 abductor jumps. Squat to mod, click your heels. Halfway. There's 20. Shake it out. I'm gonna grab a quick sip before round two. Five front squats. The rate is up. Five more here. Twenty abductors. When you're ready. Heart rate is up there. I didn't 
think it's gonna be this hard. <laughs> All right, here we go. Love it though. Five here. CMO. I think this one's the hardest. more for me. And there we go. Good. 
good volume on that one. Round two, five burpees. I'm gonna go right into it, break if you need. tens and now the twelves or fifteens. <sighs> Alright, 
One more each side now. Back flat, stick your chest out. Last here, and reverse. Jacks if you don't need the break. Mama needs the break. That's hard. Great workout so far. Really enjoying the push. All right, here's your next four exercises. Get yourself set up. Oh, let's work. Starting with five man makers. Okay, that burpee, stand, curl, press. I'm gonna use 12s. Now, you can modify the burpee if you'd like, or just stay standing without the burpee and do a curl press. You've got five. Here we go. Place the dumbbells safely, down, wide. Curl, press, that's one. One more for me. Very good. Okay, moving into the front lunges. I'm gonna use 12s again, 10 in total, five a side. Shoulders back, five more. All right, moving into that jack press. I'm gonna hold one five. You can do this without a weight. 15, watch your nose. Five more. All right, holding that same five for a side squat, front press, 10 a side, 20 in total. So you're here together, two shoulders back. Halfway. Last here. All right, catch your breath. Back to the top round two with your man makers. I'm using 12s again. Burpee, curl press. Here we go. Sip of water before round three for me. Oh, go right away if you can. Remember, this was my dream last night. 
This is what I had dreamt about. So let's blame that. Insomnia on this. Crazy. Here we go. Round three man makers. Front. Shoulders back. All right, Jack, press. Fifteen. Ten. Fifteen. Twenty side squat front press. Just recovering for a second. Heart rate's one sixty five. You're ready. 20. 20. Halfway. And 20. Okay, Jax, if you don't need the rest, I'm gonna take a 30 second recovery here. We're starting back with star jumps as our five, and I really wanna kick it up. So you can go whenever you're ready, pause the video if you need a longer break. Starting with those star jumps, Jack to modify. We've got five, here we go. Good, moving into the bent over row with a split stance, high pull, I've got 12s. Split your stance, you're gonna hinge, row, stand, pull it here, I'll call half on the leg. Row, stand, pull, that's two. And three. Stand all the way before you hit that high pull. Last one here. All right, switch your stance. Here we go. Hinge, row, stand, and pull. Last here. All right, on the ground for your tricep press. 15 with that overhead extension. Up and bridge, palms facing. You're up, back, up and down. That's one, up, back, up and down for two. That's 10, five more and up. Back, up, and down. Touch the ground with your elbows. Two more here. Last here. Whew, that's good. We needed to do 15 with this weight to get that fatigue. Last exercise here in this circuit. Okay, side squat, press at the bottom. Press at the top if you don't want that extra challenge. 20, so you're here. Stay on this side, and two.
One more here. All right, switch sides and press. Okay, that's really hard. Lighten if you need to. Round two with your star jumps. Split stance, row high, pull with 12s. Here we go. Row, high pull here. I'll go half on the leg. All right, switch legs and hinge. Row, stand, pull. All right, one more. Hinge, row, stand, pull on the ground. Whew. 15 tricep press extension and bridge. Pop it up. Here we go. Up, back, up, and down. That's one. right now, slowing the pace a bit. Last two. Come on. Up. Mama. That's hard. All right. Side squat press. I think I'm going to switch to a five here. My shoulder was not happy with that. Eight. Ten each side. Switching sides. Pull, make your way to the ground. Last 
Last 15, tricep press, extension and bridge, and work. Up, down, up, return. Here's five. Here's 10, five more. Really feeling that fatigue in the triceps, especially my sore arm there, holy. <sighs> Slowing down a bit to make sure I have good form. Oh, one more. Very good. All right, last exercise, folks. Eight, five, two, three, whatever you like. And let's hit that side press. Squat for 20. <laughs> Arms are sore. And one. Good. And switch sides and work. Three, two, one and done. You've moved daily in your five, 10, 15, 20 total body cardio and strength workout. That was great. That last circuit wasn't the hardest. I don't know what one was, but let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Stay with me for a stretch, it's coming up. Very good, let's go into our backs, okay? As long as your heart rate's down. Where's mine at? 130, coming down. I think I hit 170 there. That's a bit high for me. <laughs> Some of those were intense. Let's bring the leg up, flex. Knee is soft and lengthening through there. Oh my goodness, you guys. Um, had, did you listen to the podcast with Andrew Huberman and Dr. Wendy Suzuki? It's a must listen if you need inspiration, switch legs here, why exercise is important for longevity and your health, okay? And she just hit it home with the science behind why even things like cardiovascular exercise like we just did today, quite a bit of it, got our heart rates up, feet together, knees open, we got puffed, okay, we were working intensely, so blood had to flow to our extremities where we had that oxygen deficit and felt that burn in our lungs and our legs. Oh, that is so beneficial, everyone, because the main function of why that's beneficial is um, because it increases brain-derived neutrophic factor, which is created in the hippocampus region of the brain, okay? Hippocampus looks like a seahorse, she said, and the hippocampus should be nice and big and fluffy. And it gets that way. Let's put our feet on the ground, arms open, legs to the side. Keep your shoulders on the ground. It gets that way when we increase BDNF in the brain, and that increases through cardiovascular exercises the most. So don't neglect your cardio. It's really critical to the health of your brain, hippocampus specifically, switch sides here. And when you have more BDNF, which incidentally decreases as you age, so you have to actively increase it, it staves off things like anxiety, depression, Alzheimer's, dementia. I don't want those things. No thank you, I say, to Alzheimer's and dementia. And I've had too many people in my family, let's come to seated here, um, you know, who have gone down that route, and I'm like, no. Um, and as I look at the stats, none of them really exercised. None of them were like in the field of exercise where they did it regularly, none of them. And so if I, the science says that we can stave those things off, decrease our chances of getting it. Yes, there's a genetic component, but wouldn't you want to make your chances better of not getting it? 
dementia is horrible. And some of you have had parents, loved ones, aunts, uncles, who have had dementia and Alzheimer's. And we have someone in our lives right now and it's very hard and challenging and so sad for them. Um, like I just, you're hopeless, you're helpless. It's not good. So in my brain, I'm like, I need to not get that. <laughs> Reach across here. I need to stave that off if I can. And if she's telling me, these scientists, that all you have to do to increase your chances of not getting it, again, genetics play a role and I get that, um, but to increase your chances of avoiding Alzheimer's and dementia, if all you had to do was move daily, like what? Okay, sign me up. Yes, please. But for some people, it's just not enough motivation yet, is it? I, I had a friend I saw in the mall the other day and we were talking about it and she's like, I know I should exercise, but you know, three years ago at the pandemic start, I just stopped and I have no motivation to get back. And I said, even if, it, if, even if it's critical for your health, she goes, it's not enough right now. I'm like, unfortunately, it will be enough probably when she has an onset of a disease, you know, a lifestyle related disease that could have maybe been avoided. It's hard to be motivated. I understand that. We have to find our profound reason our guttural reason and for some people it's going to be easier and for some people it's going to be more challenging but one of the best things you can do is be a part of a community that inspires you right and that is so helpful so hey be sure to join us over in our move daily hustle facebook group it's a free group uh kim our ambassador over there posts so many inspiring things to keep us moving daily in our fitness wellness and nutrition we host free challenges over there i post the weekly workouts over there to and make it easy and clickable for you to be inspired and remember that you have to move daily. I encourage you to do that. I don't want you to get those diseases. No, thank you. All right. Thanks for joining. As always, go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. I'll see you in the next workout. And here comes little sneaky pants. Lily, come. Do you want to say hi? Come. Everyone misses you. She knows the words. She just does it. Come. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi, Sue. You want to say hi? Oh, he's a sleepy dog. Everyone says that you don't come out and say hi anymore. Everyone says that. Yeah, poor little girl. They heard you bark today though. Everyone hears you bark. You little turkey. See you folks. Mm -hmm.